Well, Janine, Petersburg's uh, mother, frustrated as the four-year anniversary of her son's killing creeps closer, saying the only thing that has changed so far is the detective that's on this case. We're now learning a second victim has died. That victim, Jonathan King. The young father standing on a family member's porch on Hinton Street in Petersburg with his friend Kevin Williams. Both men were shot multiple times. Both men died. Dozens of rounds littered the street. He's going to get justice. Believe that. King's kids and mom find peace in visiting his gravesite, but remember the tragic day like it just happened. He was shot on October the 4th in 2020 at 1130 p.m. And we're just asking for anyone to come forward with information on what you've seen or heard or know. Just call it anonymous if you can, because it's just senseless violence. The violence continues to haunt his family going on four years later. Tasha King telling me the only thing consistent in her son's case is the change of hands to different detectives working it. Not knowing is the worst because you never know who to trust. You can't trust anyone. I mean, you look at family different now. It's awful. Crime Insider sources tell me King's thoughts about family members knowing something that would help the investigation are very real. It's the most frustrating because you would think family, you know, would be the most loyal to you. And for them to be so unloyal to him and he loved them with all his heart and soul is unreal. And Janine and Julie King would have turned 34 this upcoming August 1st. His children spend time graveside talking to a headstone, hoping that dad is watching them grow. Reporting live tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.